incidence of thyroid cancer has tripled in the last 30 years, and researchers, they really can't explain why this is happening. It is the most rapidly increasing cancer in the U.S. Three out of four cases are found in women. 62,000 people were diagnosed this year. These alarming stats are coming from the American Cancer Society. We're going to turn things over to our very own Estela Casas. She's sitting down with our medical contributor. Hi, Stephanie, and good afternoon, everyone. And joining us here uh, in the studio is Neha Sharma. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for I having me. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2010, and you were diagnosed in 2007. Uh, how, how did you find it? So I was in anatomy class, and the topic of the class was neck muscles. And I was palpating my own muscles when I felt a lump. And I was proactive, and mm -hmm. I went to an ENT doctor, and it was a thyroglossal duct cyst, they said, which is a benign cyst. And they said, why don't you get it out? Because I was supposed to start medical school in a month. Oh, wow. So I got it out. They sent it to pathology. And I went to the ENT doctor for a routine follow-up. And he sat down and said, I have some news for you. It was actually thyroid cancer. And now you need another surgery and get your thyroid out. And uh, it was papillary cancer. Yes. There's four types of cancers, papillary, follicular, anaplastic, and medullary. Yep. Uh, now, the types that we had are easier to treat with a radioactive iodine pill. Yes. Now, you had kind of like a scare or recurrence uh, uh, just recently? Yeah, so it was just a scare. Um, they thought that, my, so, so that you detect recurrence based on thyroglobulin antibodies. Mm -hmm. And mine were slightly elevated, so I had to go through the radiation again, just diagnostic purposes. But thankfully, everything came back negative. And, and it's easy to treat. Now, uh, it's uh, more and more common among women than men, but men also get it. Um, and thyroid is a hormone. So, you know, women are already a big bundle of, of <laughs> hormones. But how, what, what are some of the symptoms? What should women be looking for? Okay, so some symptoms include difficulty breathing, voice changes mm -hmm. but if you ever feel a lump in your neck never take it lightly most patients do not have known risk factors so prevention strategies are difficult but early detection saves lives so if you have a lump go see a doctor and the only test available right now is a TSH tell us a little bit about that so TSH measures the hormonal levels in your body but it does not really tell you if you have cancer or not mm -hmm. cancer is screening only TSH is just hormonal, and most cancer patients have normal thyroid function tests. Yes, so be aware of those lumps. Now, uh, can, can, should women go and say, look, I want you to check, uh, check my TSH, or how, how just, just information and education is key, being your own advocate. So should they go in and say, hey, I need a TSH test? I would say not unless you're symptomatic. Okay. If you have symptoms of hypo or hyperthyroidism, get your TSH checked. But if you feel something in your neck, definitely get an ultrasound. Okay. How has this changed your life? It taught me how to live life. Yeah. Live life to the fullest. Because I realize if I don't do it now, there's no guarantee that I'll, do, that I'll do it later. And also it made me a better doctor because I was a medical student and a patient all at the same time. So it shaped my personality as a physician. Uh, big changes in your life. Now, the incidence of thyroid cancer has increased uh, threefold in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. And people really don't know what causes it. Can you do anything to prevent this from happening to you? It's very difficult. Risk factors, there are two that I will mention. Family history and known radiation exposure to head and neck, especially in childhood. So if you have those two, talk to your doctor. And uh, when you get your teeth checked or when you get a teeth x-ray, make sure you have that little cover? Yes, absolutely. You should ask for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Anything else that we need to know about uh, as far as thyroid cancer? A thyroid disease? Well, just early detection saves lives. That's all I'm going to say. Just be very well aware of your body. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stephanie.